Hey everybody, today I'm going to be sharing with you this unique game called Trumpet. This game was created in 1990 and it is for two to six players. Uh, this game is basically a game that is all about Trump. There's about six different suits in this game and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to win hands using these different suits as Trump. Um, this game also has a board on it and as you win the different hands you're going to be moving along the board and as you move along the board you're going to be uh, having an opportunity to uh, change the suits of the trumps and even move your opponent backwards if necessary. I'm going to go ahead and show you how this game works right now. Okay, I have the game all set up over here and I've dealt out seven cards to each person. Now what you're going to notice in the board here is that there's a, opportunities for you to choose trump. Each time you win a hand you're going to move one space. The object of the game is to get over here to the winner space. Now you're also going to notice that there are six different chips that each have a suit on them. As you uh, move along the board, when you get to this point, you're going to be able to choose one of the suits to put here. And as the game progresses, you're going to be using these other spaces as well. Basically what this is going to do, it is going to allow you to choose a trump suit for your hand as you play the game. So let's say I have a bunch of hearts in my hand. So let's say I were to move over to this space. I would probably go ahead and choose the heart. This would make it the dominant trump. And then I would be able to play the hearts. Um, as the game goes along, though, um, let's say my opponent goes over here, and he has, say, a lot of spades in his hand. He'll be able to go ahead and play. He can choose a spade here. This will be more powerful than this. This will still have some value. It'll beat out all the other cards, but the spade will beat out the heart. And as the game goes along, you're going to be uh, using these other chips as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just play a hand here for you. All right. So let's say I'm starting, and this is a wild card, by the way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play my three of diamonds. My opponent's going to play an eleven of diamonds. So he plays the eleven of diamonds, let me move these back, and he's going to go ahead and move one space. Now he gets the opportunity to start. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, for him I'm going to play the eleven of spades here, and I'm going to play the seven of spades. So he's going to go ahead and move up again. Alright, so let's say he plays... Um, Let's say, for example, he plays the ten of, of uh, stars here. I'm going to go ahead and play the three of stars, and then he's going to move up here. Now, since he's gotten to the choose trump spot, he's going to be able to choose one of these chips to make a trump. So since he's got a bunch of stars, I'm going to go ahead and say he's going to pick out the stars. So now he goes ahead and he plays a six of stars. Fortunately, I have a nine of stars right here, so I'm going to go ahead and beat him. So I'm going to go ahead and move my guy up now the turn goes back to me. So I'm going to play five of hearts. He doesn't have a five of hearts, but since he has a four of stars, he can play this and beat my heart. Each time you win a hand in the green spot, you either you have the opportunity to move either forward or move your opponent backwards. Anyway, the game keeps on going like this until somebody gets to the winner spot, and that is the end of the game. And that is Trumpet, ladies and gentlemen.